Hello, people. I am Jabby Kawei. This is Achara Kirk. Hello. She's no longer a guest. She's just Achara Kirk because she's on the show so much <laughs> that she's just Achara Kirk. <laughs> We are going to look at Dungal, Dangle. I want to say Dangle. That's the American, you know, pronunciation on it. But I'm sure it's like Dungal or something yeah, like that. Yeah, somehow I think Dangle is not the right pronunciation. This is a huge, huge trailer that just dropped with Amir Khan, Achara's favorite. <laughs> I saw the poster of this when we went to the conference in Fremont, yes. and I thought it looked really interesting just from that alone because it looks different from anything else that I've seen of Amir Khan so far, just in the trailers. Mm -hmm. So, let's check this out. Rama te desper peneute. Rama te desper peneute. Piar se, mennat se. Oh, he looks so different. Whoa, that's him? Yeah, that's him. I used to be a gold medal for every player. I used to be a gold medal for every player. I used to be a gold medal for every player. I used to be a gold medal for every player. I'm curious to live through your son. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's him. 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 Oh, shit. I'm going to tell you something. Don't you see his ear? Mm -hmm. That's authenticity, I think. I don't know, it looked like a wrestling ear for a second. Wow. What? Good what? job, girls. I was telling Look how much weight he gained. Yeah, he gained a lot of weight for this role. Chora la vea, chori. Oh my oh. god, that's intense, yo. Whoa. 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 Oh, they cut the hair. Holy shit. Whoa. Whoa. What the? Zeke, I'm going to be a good friend. If you have a silver, then you will not be able to forget. Whoa. Oh my god. There has to be some CGI. I, I'm, I'm just going off the very last shot that we saw of mm -hmm. him in the wrestling outfit and he looks super young. There's no way he just looked like that straight up raw. That had to be there had to be some CGI on him. But it's still super impressive that he went through the transformation just yeah. for this film. He did. I I read that he gained 30 kilograms, which is like 60 nearly six, yeah, 60 pounds to play him as an older man. And then he lost all that weight oh, after to play him as a young man. So that's him playing both. But I'm, I'm sure there's some CGI or something in, in the yeah, 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 exactly. To, to make, make him look, look that young. But the body... <laughs> <laughs> That's a mere con. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty impressive. The, so I saw Sultan. This is obviously this is going to be compared to Sultan right away, and it probably already has been for a while now. 
And it's good that the two films are being uh, spread apart a, a lot in mm -hmm. order to separate, you know, attention on and the on on the comparison of the two films. I mean, but having seen Sultan and now seeing this trailer and having a better perspective of the two, I feel like this is the film Sultan should have been. I am not familiar with Sultan. Well, so. it focused. It was Salman Khan's story about him becoming this wrestler in order to win the heart of this female wrestler. And it became about him, oh. the journey of, of, of him ascending to uh, the heights of an Olympic champion as a wrestler and dealing, and his wife having to give up her dream in order to become a mother and this and that. But it's like, it kind of disappointed me that it didn't spend more time on this woman dealing with being a woman mm. and a wrestler. It, it, it kind of dealt with that, but it, but it more so focused on what a woman has to deal with when she has to choose between being a mom and having a career, right. which is which is a real issue that women deal with today. And I was glad that they brought that in. But I kind of wanted to see a movie about a woman who is like, you know, fuck the norm. Yeah. I want to be a wrestler. This is what I'm about. And that's what this movie seems like it's really showing. It's a story about... Because Amir Khan is the star, but the story is really about his daughters. Yeah going the distance as women in a man's world. Exactly. And, and, and I feel like it's a very important story because in, in many Asian cultures, girls are undervalued. China Just, China's a great China, example. Yeah, I mean, <sighs> take me as an example. My mom wanted sons. Right. But, you know, I feel like this goes to show that with the right encouragement and support, right. girls and women can do anything you know what really? i liked what i liked about this though is that it, it didn't i didn't get the impression and maybe it's different when i when the whole the movie's all you know when you see everything in whole but i didn't get the impression from the trailer that amir khan's character was pushing this on his daughters it seemed like he was just kind of facilitating what was already there mm. and and putting them in a place where they could expend that energy that they naturally seemed to have yeah. and i like that as opposed to it's better that he had daughters in this story, or and it's based on a true story, I understand, but it's better that he had daughters because then he wasn't forcing a dream down their throats. Yeah. It was, they wanted it, and they wanted to prove themselves, and so he's, like, he's like, okay, fine, let's do this then. And I think that's a better approach, is when you kind of see and recognize the, the talent and potential mm -hmm. in your children and go, okay, Let's let's cultivate that. Well, I suppose there's also a certain level of of him wanting to live his dream as well, and because he has that knowledge, well, he course. has that discipline. But you know, he's going to support his daughters 100% to achieve their dreams and their goals. And they mm -hmm. they did. Uh, I think Gita won gold. In the Which one? Oh, that's Gita. Gita was yeah, shown on the trip. The, okay. I think she's the older one, and she won gold in the 2010 Commonwealth Games, and okay. then her sister won silver that year. And then I think I read somewhere else that later on her sister also won gold in 2014. Oh, wow! Yeah, for oh, so India. they're like so, hardcore champions here. Yeah, it's a super inspirational. I'm on board for this, and I would love to watch this movie. So I'm gonna do my best to find it wherever I'm gonna be. December 23rd. I don't even know where I'm gonna be in the world at that time, honestly. <laughs> but I'm gonna do my best to watch this film and give you guys a, a review on it because it. I'm definitely intrigued. I definitely want to watch yeah. this. This just has me happy. It's yeah. like, this is a good story. This is the kind of story that I've been wanting. It, you know, it's like even in the States, we don't have female baseball players. We don't have female oh, yeah. football players. We we don't female have... Female soccer team is really good though. Okay. that I mean, yeah. But I'm just saying there's a lot of sports where we don't have women yet. We have female commentators on football. Mm -hmm. We don't have, but it's like, why don't we have a female football league yet? It just seems odd. Anyway. You should, you should be able to just play if you want to play. Right, exactly. Yeah. Anyways, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Please check out Achara Kirk on the social media if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel. Check out other reactions, reviews, video game related videos in the description below as a playlist of Jabby's short films. Please watch those if you get a chance. I am Jabby Kowei. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.